I've had a lot on my mind lately. I don't really know where to start. Um, I guess I should start with... It's been... I've been on hormones for eight months now. I just realized today. And it kind of made me sit back and think about... Has my life changed in the last six months? What have I done... It's different about me. What's ahead for me? What does the future hold? I, I feel like hormones have completely changed who I am. For the better. One month before I started, it wasn't really clear to me that I was ever going to get to start, at least not in the foreseeable future. I came to a place where I needed to move forward with things so bad that I just went full time. No hormones. I'd had some laser hair removal, but I still had to shave every day. I didn't have this voice. It wasn't there yet. I didn't have a lot of clothes. I didn't have a lot of confidence. I just needed to live it. So since I started hormones, I've been frustrated with how long some changes have taken. I've been mystified by changes that have happened. I've been unstable. in certain ways. I felt healthier, but things got hard for a different reason. Because I was living full time and asking people to consider me Samantha and consider me a woman, but I think that it was so hard for people because they kept seeing this boy that they'd known for a long time. And I didn't feel like I was being accepted as a woman. I felt like I was being tolerated as a queer boy. You know, I was pretty much on the verge of a breakdown a couple of times. I had a pretty rough day today. I'm getting over being, being sick. And I was pretty exhausted at work. And I just had a bad day. And hormones have made me a little bit crazy. Where it seems like such little things that bother me. But my reactions to them are so intense. Like today, uh, a few times... I've been so angry that I just wanted to destroy the world. <laughs> I just, I thought about the people that were making me upset and I seriously wanted to kill them. Like, it brought me joy to think about inflicting pain on them. And that's not really like me. Most of the time I'm pretty level-headed. I'm pretty objective. I can look at things from different angles and not and accept my emotions but not let them influence me in decisions too much. Okay, maybe that's crazy. Maybe I've always been an emotional person, but I feel like it has a time and a place. And I find it harder to draw that line lately. When women talk about being overly emotional, this is what they're talking about. And it's really hard to deal with. And sometimes I just want to scream. And sometimes I just get a little down about things. You know, I, 
I'll see other trans women that are where I want to be, and I'll get jealous, and I'll get upset and angry and not know what to do about it. Or I'll listen to my voice, this voice that I've worked so hard to obtain. And I know what's a good voice. But I, I remember that it'll never be a natural woman's voice. And I'll never be able to sing soprano. And that's hard to accept. And, and then, like tonight, I found this new channel of this this girl who's just completely gorgeous. And she's 21, she's younger than me, and she's had FFS, and she had voice surgery. So she really sounds like a woman. And I just get discouraged. Because I want to look that beautiful but not have surgery on my face. I don't want someone to cut into me rearrange my bones and stick plastic in my cheeks and inject fat into my lips and scrape away the bones on my forehead. I don't want that stuff. I don't want anyone to do that to me. I just want the effects. I wish I could take a pill for it like I did hormones, but I can't. And I just don't know why it has to be so hard sometimes, even when I know I'm doing so well. I still see a boy when I look at my face sometimes. And it's my face. But... It's a trans woman's face, not a bio woman's face. I just did this video on Tranny Star Galactica last night about something that's made me cry in my transition. And seriously, I'm not far from crying at this moment. And I'm not trying to be up on a soapbox or complaining for the sake of complaining. But it just seems like sometimes no matter how well things are going, I still have to deal with this, and I wish I didn't have to. <sighs> yeah, this is definitely one of those days where I know it would just feel so good to cry about something. So I'm going to go do my thing, and then I'll probably play some Assassin's Creed 2 to cheer myself up, and I will see you next time.